Welcome to Boys Episode 94. If you can hear this, thank you. If you could hear what we hear, thank you. Because it sounded extra special it tonight. Sounds great. If you can hear this, you're part of the resistance. We, <laughs> we did a bit. We did a bit of an upgrade here in the studio. We uh, did. Uh, upgrade. We got a brand new four channel headphone amp. We had a headphone amp, four channel, yeah. but it was like a little piece of shit. It, it was, was good for travel. It's fine. Yeah, we'll, it's we'll, fine. S- we'll save it in case this one breaks, but yeah. we got a new one that has LED readouts, independent volume control. Yeah. Just looks cooler. Our setup is tight. Dude, it's getting there. It looks so cute right now. It's getting there. Look at all those lights. <laughs> well, th- th- thank you guys for listening. We're going to get uh, right to the show, but first, a little business. Boys, Boys Pod. Go ahead. You said I was going first. I said I was going first. No, I misheard that. Too guys. many too many things. Business. Boys, Boys Pod- Podcast. <laughs> you know what? How about this? Just do it at the same no, time. One. Do you ready? Yeah. yeah. Boyspodcast.com, a hub of all things boys. There you will find links to our Facebook, Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, YouTube, YouTube SoundCloud. SoundCloud, links, fun lists to look at, pictures, descriptions, and more, as well as that golden donate button that leads you directly to PayPal. See, we got this headphone amp through generosity. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the heavens. Thank my lucky stars. We're still doing it. You had a triple L there, and it it felt really good. List fun links to look at. Mm. I love alliteration. I love alliteration, especially with L's. Ooh. It's really good. Another you know what else I love? Hmm. What is it? I love that we're on Stitcher, SoundCloud, YouTube. And, and iTunes. You, and you iTunes. skipped the first one. <laughs> I was trying to go. go uh, rate, review, subscribe, share with a friend. Mm-hmm. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Tell yeah. a friend. Last night, I... Got a little tipsy, and I posted to Instagram about my love of our podcast. Mm-hmm. Your love for, of boys. Yeah, my love of boys, yeah. which is what I usually do when I get drunk. Yeah. I just confess my love of boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this time it was these boys, and uh, I woke up this morning, and I kind of had a moment, because you know I bitch about social media a lot, sure. and I thought, should I delete this? Should I delete this? No. Like, it didn't get the likes that a picture of Olivia would get. It didn't get the likes that a picture of my dad would get. It got some likes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was like, man, is this, does this sound lame? Does this sound douchey? Mm. No. Okay. It's it's for you. It's It's promotion. Here's the thing. uh, Fuck everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then you just got to post some shit for you. Yeah. Add them to the list. Yeah. Speaking (laughs) of lists, send your favorite list of things you hate to boys at boyspodcast.com. Send us some feedback. Put your physical address in there. You get some free stickers. We recently got an email, uh, informed us that we were fucking wrong. Yeah. I love it. I love being pointed out mm-hmm, that yeah. I'm wrong. I know we just, we get in here, we just get to rapping, you know, just yeah. like just shooting the breeze. And sometimes yeah. we aren't accurate. We aren't in, accurate. In yeah. our, uh, it turns out the bare naked ladies sings the theme song to that terrible TV show. Yeah. So, but I say bare naked ladies are the community college version of. Of they might be giants. That I is agree. hilarious. I yeah. agree. And thanks, thanks for the email. Appreciate yeah. it. Keep them coming in. Big that ups. was that was super, super sweet. Very sweet. Thank you to our sponsors, Anthem Brewing, AnthemBrewing.com. Delicious beers for delicious dudes and ladies. Fat Bison, FatBison.com. Good wood, good dude, good all around everything. Speaking of high fidelity sound experience, he has the best sounding signs and the best resonating wood you tap one of his wood signs you're gonna hear the quality Mm -hmm. and that's something you just can't find anywhere have you have you found yourself have you done that in a store knock on something (laughs) oh yeah check out the quality oh yeah i didn't do that shit when i was in my 20s no "Mm." oh that's real wood no you brought it home it broke you leaned it against the wall (laughs) yeah but now it's like you got it you gotta check the stats all right that feels good let me let me tap this headphone up hold on and then you then you oh yeah real nice see how heavy is this oh yeah that's true i got a new keyboard today for Mm -hmm. my computer the very first thing i did well i guess this would always be the first thing you do but you would lift it because you'd lift it out of the box right but like i i made a point to feel the weight of it i was like yeah this is nice it feels good if it's if it's lightweight somehow that equals uh uh, shittiness i guess but now everything's supposed to be lightweight like your phone the lighter your phone the better that's why i missed the iphone 4 five i believe it was because it was the last one that was kind of heavy yeah and now they're like super light and i'm like man i missed that i missed the heft i missed the quality yeah 
And lastly, thanks to OKC Comedy. OKC Comedy, you're you. You're doing yeah. all right. You're doing all right. <clears throat> Keep it up. You're, Book a show. You're okay. All right. Okay, Keep Comedy. Up. Fuck them. <laughs> lastly, thank you for listening to this. No, I'm just, I, I feel bad. I know. They don't have a lot going on right now, hey. but they're working on it. OKC Comedy. They're working on it. <laughs> they might get the humor behind this. Maybe. I feel like they do. I hope to Christ asshole they do. <clears throat> did you say Anthem already? I did. Okay, just making sure. You know, just making yeah. sure. All right. I'm always thinking Anthem. Thank you guys for listening. We're going to get right to the episode 94 of Boys. <laughs> Uh, I bet that commercial came out in 94. I'm a probably, probably pretty close. Yeah. No, I remembered it. So had to. The what's up? Yeah. Do you remember shit at one? (laughs) No. No. (laughs) Then it came out before, after that. (laughs) I don't remember. Put me in my place. I don't (laughs) just just (laughs) want. The fuck it came out after that shit. Coming in hot. Speaking of coming in hot. Well, you got to come in hot for this what is this what, what are we talking about here it's it what is it so it's uh, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago we were talking about some uh hot boy slam cast you know what i'm saying oh yeah and i think it's about to go down just like that mm-hmm. oh fuck. i hit it twice that's okay. fine <laughs> you know what it sounds so nice first time yeah, three times. What's up? Okay, that's it. So, yeah, we're going to go around the table. Mm-hmm. And we're going to, you know, we always talk about adding things to the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going on the list. Guess what? As we add things to the list, this is a chance to cross some things off the list. Yeah. So we're going to start. All right. With you. With me. All right. So it just started, it seems like only yesterday, a day, maybe two ago, just, you know, doing that thing, you're on the shitter, you're flipping through all your stuff. And I just see just one after the other, just friends posting a screenshot of them adding Vero, 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 however you fucking say it. I, I pronounce it Vero, and they're but all, I could be and wrong. they all, it's the same thing. It's screen grab, but the thing it says, I guess, or, well, let's give this a try. Like, you're already giving up on it before you even start it. Mm-hmm. Two, way to be a follower, jump on a bandwagon, you don't even know if it works or not. Yeah. It could be a total fucking Google Plus. Everyone jump on that shit. It's not. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this Vero is fucking terrible. I'm not. I'm not trying to hate. Local man hates everything. I'm not trying to hate before the hate needs to be hated. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw. I'm throwing the starter log of hate on the fire for Vero. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna go next. So we've been in this gray period. This this. Oklahoma's inclement weather. Oklahoma fuck, yeah. Like, dude, can I just mm-hmm. get the ice and snow or the spring? Yeah. I hate driving in it. I hate when it's just misting out all the time. Mm-hmm. It's been gray forever. We had a little sunshine the other day for like a moment. Yeah. But it's terrible. And guess what? You're getting a... <laughs> this might be a hot take for the first first one for mm-hmm. me. <clears throat> um... I can't control that I am a straight white male. You know what I'm saying? So this happened a couple months back. Somebody posted this thing on Facebook. Surprise. And they were like, hey, um, the guy, what was who's the fucking pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean? Jack Sparrow. Who's the fucking dude's name? Johnny Depp. That guy. So he's a bad guy. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Didn't know. Because I don't care about celebrities that much. Wait, he's bad? Yeah, he like is abusive to women but he's like wine drunk and beats his wife yeah i didn't know that i this is news to me exactly it was news to me like i I don't keep up with celebrity gossip and i don't know why you do so uh, you're added to the list then too Mm -hmm. if you care about him (laughs) double slam okay so (laughs) (laughs) so someone's complaining about him being casted as one of the Bad guys and Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. And they were complaining about it like before they posted the link for you to go see why he sucks. And I didn't fucking read that. They were Mm -hmm. just like, fuck him. And I was just like, 
I hopped in, hopped into the post, and I was like, I think he's a good actor. You know, I think he looks fine for the part. Mm -hmm. And then this person goes, typical cis white male response. And I was just like, what? <laughs> like, what do you? Okay, when you're put in that situation, I've never been personally called out on social media. Right. But when you are put in that situation, yeah. it's like, how do you respond to that? Because anything, if you respond at all, uh -huh. you're feeding the troll, quote unquote. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you want to say something back, you know. Uh, you, you know, you, know just, you do. What's that? You're like, you, you ignore that because you're a straight woman, but I'm not talking about that. <clears throat> and I was like, well, don't assume her sexuality. It's true. Or gender. Uh, don't assume mine. Or or assume that <laughs> you she's do look white. a little. I, 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 didn't, I didn't slide into her DMs talking about, you know, uh, how hot she was or anything. So she's just assuming that I'm straight. I see. Yeah. You know, you've been wronged. You know what happens when you assume? You become an asshole. Well, she's also assuming that she's also <laughs> assuming that you uh, character characterize yourself as white. Mm-hmm. Because you could be anything. Yeah. No, no. See, we haven't got that far yet. Oh, we have. That Salonda, whatever her name is. That, oh, yeah. Yeah. She's still doing the I'm but, black thing. But yeah. she got fucking roasted for mm -hmm. that. But there, she has a following of people who's like, well, I guess that makes sense. We are... We are, we are, like okay, like okay, you, you know we we bitch about like playgrounds. It's all just it's if we're nerfing the world, we're starting to nerf life. Yeah. It's like well, I, I guess no. She's pretending to be black and making money pretending to be black. Mm -hmm. That's not cool. Well, I mean, I'm curious to know how far does this go because, you know, you say don't assume gender, uh huh, and I. The old fashioned side of me, like yeah. okay, I get this. I get this progressive for sure. I I get it. I yeah. I I agree with it to mm -hmm. an extent. I think our generation is one of the ones that started it. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to your skin, quick quick test. Yeah, quick self test. <laughs> do you have two eye? Do you have one good eye? <laughs> do you have one eyeball? Just yeah. one uh -huh. eye. Take out your hand. Hold it up like you're reading a book. Yeah. L look. Okay. Turn it over. Don't be reading a book. D well, that. <laughs> Kind of defeats the entire purpose. <laughs> exactly. So hold it up like you're reading a book. Yeah. Turn it around. Okay, I did. You look at it. Uh huh. What color is it? I see. Uh, white. So what does that mean, Robbie? You're white. But what if you see Done. yourself as a Nubiru or whatever the what are those people called in the movie that you love? Uh, that's a movie. Well, the <laughs> the funny thing is. In the glow of the lamp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You look blue. I'm blue. Yeah. Abadia Badai. So to wrap this up, what I'm slamming right now is if you come at me sideways like that, one, you're assuming a lot. Two, you're looking like a dick. Three, you care about celebrities' lives. And four, I mean, what are you accomplishing by talking shit on me right off the bat? So All that's right. me. The first edition. Episode one. Of <laughs> Hot Boys Slam Cast. The cast within a cast. Mm -hmm. Cast cast. Is done. We heard, guys, we heard you like podcasts. We're giving you a two for one. Yeah. We're putting a cast in, a, a short cast, a mini yeah. cast in the cast. Where's Exhibit at? Speaking of. Yeah. If you want to add something to the Hot Boys Slam Cast, you can email us. Slam at boyspodcast.com. <laughs> We'll put you on the list. We'll, 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 we'll not, put you, not you on the list. Not you. Unless you no. fucking come at us no, also sideways with your terrible emails. Okay, so here, I'm, I'm down in my basement. To slam at boyspodcast.com. Subject. R.E. Slamcast. Body. I hate myself. Put me on. <laughs> I fucking hate myself. Put me on the list. Oh, backspace. Put me on the list. Dude. Santa. We'll read it. Wow, that we'll would be it. dope. Oh. If you send us that, send us a picture of yourself as well. So we can slam you. So we you. can slam you. <laughs> if you want to get slammed, if you hate yourself and want to get slammed. Hold on. You might even be a, a, you might even be a thumbnail for the next episode. <laughs> we are doing exactly what you just slammed though, right? I know, right? But they're asking for it. Yeah, that's no, if true. they ask for they're it. They're asking that, for that's it. That's what I'm saying. All right. All yeah, right. I'm not saying when you email us now at boys, send a picture so that we can roast you. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's just if you want to get roasted. Any, and, and I'll tell you what, if you put in the email... 
when you email slam at boyspodcast.com. Yeah. Put in the email that you want to remain anonymous. We'll keep it totally anonymous. Yeah. If you want to slam a friend. See, I I, I kind of want to slam somebody I know. Yeah. In a, in a good old fashioned roast sort of way. Oh, yeah. But I might I might ask permission. I yeah. might be like, hey, hey, bro, there's something about you I fucking hate. Can I can I talk shit on you? Is that cool? As long as I'm telling you, is that OK? <clears throat> no, but that's not like I don't. It's all about how you say it. I mean, you can, yeah. like we said on the last episode, if you have a bat in a cave, or if you if you see your friend, let your friend know. Don't let your yeah. friend walk out the house looking like a piece of shit right. with a fucking but, bug hanging but don't let your friend live life like a piece of shit if he's living his life like a piece of shit you'd be mm. like hey man listen there's this thing you do I fucking hate it yeah. a lot of people hate it too <laughs> okay that that might be <laughs> <laughs> the way you worded that though is hey i, I hate it the, a lot of people hate reason, it too <laughs> the reason why i said quote local man hates everything found out this weekend that's what i'm known as people Call me that, really. Local listen, man hates everything. Yeah. Listen, you're a little bit of a peepaw. Yeah. And hey, I'm I'm calling you what, out, bro. What's a, what's this, bo- this is bonus content for the what's Slamcast. A I'm an old oh, man. I'm, oh, okay. just, I'm, I'm not with the times, uh-huh. and I think that these kids today just don't understand. They just don't get. They're just changing sexes like a Pokemon. They're just, they they're changing colors like uh-huh. a gecko. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know anyone. In real life, that's changed their skin. That's part of the issue, though. Oh. Speaking of Vero, Vero. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Facebook, speaking of getting called out, it's Mm -hmm. like you get off that shit and real life ain't so bad. Yeah. But you you see people online. It's just like, fuck. How often? I know we talk about this a lot. See, my peepaw is coming out. Mm -hmm. My inner peepaw. Mm -hmm. But. How often do we talk about you get on there and you're just like, why the fuck am I even looking at this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. If we didn't have it, though, how long would you it wouldn't things wouldn't have escalated as quickly as they did. I think we would just now be talking because I mean, all like the the reason why we start talking about all this is because we have cameras, not just taking picture cameras, we have video Movie quality can't well, yeah movie 4K quality. cameras on no our they are movie quality they're fucking 4K so you could take a you can take a video of a cop beating the shit out of a black guy and mm-hmm. like well that's on the internet now so now we're we're far more aware as cis white males just white people that oh there's this whole thing that's actually we we, we knew it was going on but now it's like on a daily basis you're hearing more and more seeing seeing we're seeing more yeah so it's spreading the news well that's the thing man <clears throat> and I think it I think it goes across color borders and sex borders and sexuality borders. Mm. We see so much more information. Like, are we, were we made for this? Were we made to take in this much information? No. Uh, yeah, I don't so think so. Quickly, so, think so quickly. So quickly. If this happened, if this evolved over a hundred years, mm-hmm. it'd be one thing because it'd give the human brain time to evolve. And of course we evolved to our surroundings and right. adapt. But this has happened in 15 years? Yeah. I think 10 years? I think it's one of the reasons why you see so much, uh, backlash and a lot of just like anger on both sides in both directions and being immediately like uh what's the word they use people use triggered it. triggered mm-hmm. is because our brains can't um not comprehend it we, we can't uh uh take all the information process it and yeah. then and then deal with it as as well we should because we're getting it all so fucking fast one day it's this the next day it's this and it's like no you know what i'm mad i'm mad i'm i'm mm-hmm. mad because i'm supposed to be mad about this because i do feel that this is this thing right and that's you i get it i get it but also you need to process the grand scheme of everything maybe we shouldn't be so uh easily upset easily angered easily you you know what i think would be cool Mm -hmm. for all social media period and this will never ever happen to end no 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 i i think social media is really cool i feel like it's important but here's my thing if you post something if you post your like bullshit like this here's my opinion and this is what i'm mad about like when you when you post facebook's like okay that post right there will be sent 24 hours from now Mm -hmm. and you can choose to not post it after you know before because i feel like the 
what social media is is like so you have like posters of remorse like yeah yes you have like well, built in yeah like you said like, about the instagram super, post that you made super, same kind of thing yeah you're like super triggered about something and you're just like oh, fuck black panther or whatever whatever you know like n- i thought that was gonna go a lot darker like fuck black panther which is not how i feel i haven't seen it yet so <clears throat> and you know the child's movie <clears throat> right it is. It's a comic book movie. It's, it's a, a comic book. It's, it's a comic book. Movie. I saw speaking of social media, not to cut you off, but a quick yeah. side note. I saw a really good tweet today. Yeah. Here's the deal. Side note number one: love Twitter, news, pictures, fun. Twitter site. Number two: somebody said, "Why are people making a huge deal out of Black Panther?" Now, I'm not. I'm not saying it's not a huge deal. I get mm. the. I get the implications, and For I sure. get. I get the effect and the impact this yeah. movie has had. Even not seeing it, I've seen the news. I have eyes. I have yeah. two eyes. Yeah, you have two good ones. I have two. Well, there are. Oh, eh, you got one good eye. I've got one you good got eye. Two eyes, though. <laughs> Somebody said, "I don't see why people are making such a big deal out of this." LeBron James has been a superhero for the last ten years. And it's like, wow, like he's a real life superhero. That slam. guy is fucking. Well, he does slam. Yeah, he does. He slams, Literally he dribbles, slams. Yeah. he passes sometimes. Yeah. It's like sometimes. he he is a real life superhero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we had a bunch of people stand in front of, in front of a green screen, put some rap music to it, and people are losing their shit. Uh-huh. I, I'll be. Uh, is there rap music in Black Panther? It's well, it's curated by, I believe. Yeah, apparently the soundtrack's like dope. Which That's fucking great. sick. Yeah. Great. See, if you take something good from a superhero movie, that's what that shit's there for. That's yeah. why comic books are made. Like, it's yeah. fun. It's pure. It's just fun. It's, it's pure. I'm fun. sure it is a fun movie. Oh, I'm, I'm sure it is. Maybe. I don't know. My buddy Randy had some, speaking of Twitter, had yeah. some thoughts on it. Yeah. And he's a movie lover. That's And, and that's cool. Mm-hmm. If you want to criticize the movie, dude, it's a movie. Fucking duh. If you get something great from a comic book, that's what that's there for. It's right. like help people out in different situations like you know the x-men is about equal rights and like you know all those there's a bunch of comics like that but if you get fucking mad at a comic book movie shut the fuck up yeah dude. like dude, it's all art is subjective <clears throat> the comic book movies even more so because it's you're basing something off of something that is another form of art mm-hmm. that people have opinions about yeah my whole thing with the black panther thing is I don't like seeing articles that are clearly written by uh, old white people or maybe yeah. just white people who feel guilty and say Black Panther is the first uh, or praising Black Panther for the first black superhero movie. I'm like, not true. Not true at all. Have Boy, you seen the toy? I'm not trying to be. Yeah. No, uh, that's not. I know. <laughs> Spawn. Spawn. Uh, Blade. There's there's several and there have been. And yes, they didn't get. The, the 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 praise that it should blank man blank man blank man's an underrated movie anyway but i i get what it's it's an all black cast like it's <clears throat> super positive it's great it's don't don't do that and say that because it's not true it's not the first one so i have a funny story about black panther okay when i was a kid yeah i had a friend who had an older brother mm-hmm. and he had this box like not a long box of comic books but like half of a long box yeah. like a little mini long it was it was a short box short box and he was like hey i'm gonna get rid of these i'm gonna get rid of these uh comics if you if you want them you can have them and i'm looking through mm-hmm. and none of them are bagged or boarded or anything and i'm just like looking through i'm just like <gasps> pulling a comic out here and there yeah. one of them was a trade paperback of probably the late 80s or early 90s black panther comic book oh damn and I'm, I get that. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Black Panther. I've never heard of this. So I, and I was like, it's thick. So it'll take me a while to read this. It's right. cool, you know? And I read it and there's straight up a sex scene in it with naked tits. And it's the first time I ever saw naked tits in a comic book. Fuck yeah. I, keep in mind, I'm like in a Marvel? 10 or 12. Yeah. I don't remember. I, it, I know Marvel owns Black Panther now, but I don't know if this was done by Marvel at hmm. the time. Anyways. Mm beat off to it furiously oh for sure this is anthem brewing when you want to beat off to a comic book more than once are we all beating <laughs> off to a comic book right now? no but this was before i had porn yeah this is before i've ever saw i ever saw so wait, wait, porn. this is your first titty i mean i saw a tit 
I saw my I saw two tits in my life before that. I saw two tits. No, you catch a random titty growing up, (laughs) but like you do, like you do. I caught a random tit the other day. Oh, it's amazing when that happens, dude. It wasn't even a whole tit. It was just a (laughs) slice of tit. That's all it was. Oh, I love a good slice of tit. Dude, it was well. It literally was a slice because it was a V neck, Mm -hmm. and I, I forgot where I was. I don't forget the tit. I forget the location. <laughs> you never forget a tit. <laughs> I this girl bent over, and I, I was standing across from her at a counter, and like she she had a, a ample bosom, and one tit was just kind of like her shirt kind of got caught on something like her purse Aww. or something, and. I saw areola. Yeah. And dude, I fucking laser sighted on that thing <laughs> for the one second before it gets super right. creepy. But, that's the thing. Yeah. but now like that, that could be construed as toxic masculinity. No, it can't. Because you know what? I, if there's one thing I'm put on this earth to do, it's to drink it in. If, if God presents a random tit I or a nice, I agree. But you don't you don't act on it. You don't anything like that. You don't even acknowledge it. No, I just talk about it on a podcast yeah. that nobody listens to. Yeah. It gets dude. my. It's like confession. And and the thing is, if you if a dude walks in to an on cue right and he's got short shorts on, and a big dick and his, the head of his penis, <laughs> m- maybe for total accident just. Whoop, just slips out for a second. Yeah, anyone around no, him, he's... male, female, other, they're gonna see the head of that dick yeah. and tell all their fucking he's, friends. He's stretching over to get a bag of chips. Yeah, and his legs going up, and that yeah. the tip just comes right out. Ow. I'm looking at that. Of course, yeah, I'm gonna look at the dick. I'm like, that's a dick. Of course, Are... I would. I, it would take no time for me to find that yeah, thing, dude. That's a dick right there. <laughs> Are you yeah. gonna drink it up? I'll drink it up. Yeah. Same thing happened to me. Uh, I used to work in a skate shop. This older guy came in to buy some shoes. Uh, older gentleman in very short shorts and he comes in he he liked skate shoes because they gave him good support and they were yeah, comfortable really good for old people yeah so he came in to buy some he's wearing some very short shorts middle of summer we had an old school bench like 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 an old just like a wooden bench in there mm-hmm. and he sits down and i i'm, I'm working I'm, i go get the shoes i bring him out I, I get down on one knee and i present the shoe turn it around so he can put it on and i look up and not one but two nuts are chilling on the bench. I mean, like, imagine taking, okay, imagine you're making a pizza. Uh-huh. All right? Yeah. yeah. You got the dough all ready. Uh-huh. Got it in a ball. Yeah. Imagine throwing that ball up in the air and letting it splat on the table in front of you. Ooh. That's what these balls look like. They dude. were, dude, they were straight up resting. It wasn't. It wasn't, wasn't like an over easy egg. No. Like a, <laughs> it was like a fucking fried egg. It was just like bloop, just spilled just out. Sp- nuts be spilling. What did I do? Drank it up. Kind I looked at it like, and I yeah. was just like, I've got. It's like I was trying to Balls. process the information as fast as I could. I yeah. feel like that's what your brain does when your brain's confused about what it sees. It wants to know. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you're just like, am I seeing? A whole sack right now? Yeah. Am I seeing a, a whole sack? That's a whole sack. <laughs> you, yeah. You just a sack ta- that's not mine. <laughs> I'm listening to somebody yeah. else's sack. It's you, on a bench. You take it in uh-huh. and you just absorb the information yeah. as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. Same when I see, when I saw that slice of tit, yeah. I was just like, you don't see that very often. I'm no. not going to be a perm. I didn't. St- no. I didn't even no. stare. No, no, Pull no. your dick out and start jerking in no. the line. I just, I just saw the slice and I was just like, tight. Yep. Yeah. And then yeah. had a great day after yeah. that. It's like, okay, but women point it out all the time. If people, you just point out, if a woman's wearing a shirt and no bra and it's cold out or she had, her nipples are hard and it's apparent, everyone notices. Guys, and everyone girls says alike. Something. Guys, Dude. girls alike. Yeah. yeah like, they all do. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's Dude. hard not to. Dude, it's, it's hard. It's there. It, our, you can't our, not notice it. Our brains, our, our, our chemical, our, our makeup is just to fuck and make people. That's that's it. That's, uh-huh. We're animals. We are fucking dumb animals. And when we see nipples to so we're sure, we go, oh, those are cool. And then you keep going. <laughs> but you that's do it. it. But dude, yeah. you do it with dudes too. If, yeah. if a guy walks in on yeah. cue and you're like standing in line, it's cold outside and he's wearing like an Under Armour <laughs> and he's got his high beams on. Dude, for sure. Yeah. He's like, exactly. Ha, hard nips. Yeah, dude. Hard nips. Nice nips, bro. Or like a dude who wears sweatpants that are too small into a place with no underwear and like you to see this is hog yeah. just hanging out yeah, you dude. see like his mushroom cap yeah, like, uh-huh. like you see the rim you mm-hmm. see the rim <laughs> yeah, pressed against the, the sweatpants 
And there's no way you're you're probably going to give it two looks. You're going to see it and be like, hold on, what? And did, then, wait, wait. Did I really see that right? Yeah. Okay, I did. No, no, I did see that dude's wang. Okay, cool. So, sometimes, whether it's a tit or a wang, yeah, Dude, yeah. Sometimes God smiles on you, yeah. and I love those experiences. Like I mm-hmm. love, I love being caught off guard. Yeah, because I'm, you know, I'm, I know I'm not like a clinical homebody, but like I get up, go to work, maybe run an errand, come home, sit down, talk to you guys, mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. play some video games or play guitar, go to bed, watch Thunder Game, whatever. Yeah. I'm not a big, I'm not a jet setter. I'm not a, I don't, I'm not really that social. Like. So when these situations are thrown in front of me, it's like, I fucking love it. Like, I eat it up. Yeah. It's like, whoa, glitch in the matrix. Yeah. Tit, you know, yeah. dick. It's anything. It doesn't have to just be tits and dicks. It's, a yeah. little, it's, it's just a little slice of heaven mm-hmm. given to you. Dude, you know I, I, mean? I love getting put in situations yeah. that are weird. It happened to me this weekend. I went to this bar in Tulsa with uh, like my best friend and his girl. And it was called the Inner Circle. <clears throat> is this a new bar? Yeah, it I, sounds I'm... fucking lame. Oh, first dude, of all. is it? It's, wait, is it based on the '90s neo reggae group Inner Circle? No, bad boys, bad boys. It's it's like what a, you gonna do? It's a, yeah. it's a club. You okay. know, I don't go to clubs. Oh, like a yeah. So you okay. walk in, like you walk into the front door, and it's a, and then like everyone dancing, just like, woo, girl, just like a lot of fingers up in the air. It okay. took me fifteen minutes to get a drink while I was standing at the bar. It was bonkers, dude. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, this is fucking. You paid nuts. a lot for that drink. Uh, well, I didn't actually pay for those drinks, but mm. yeah, I mean, it was expensive. Yeah, and. It was just like so weird because I haven't, <clears throat> I haven't been to a club in well, I guess the only club I've ever been to was Copa, mm-hmm. and then I went there here last weekend, but I haven't been to a club in years. And was was like, it dark and a lot fuck? of lighting like this? A lot of like soft blue lighting? It was all blue. The yeah. whole the whole building was blue. The sign, inner circle, mm-hmm. blue neon. You walk in, no lights, blue neon. Everywhere. Was their logo a fucking circle? Yeah. Of course oh, it was. It wouldn't be a triangle. <laughs> no, I mean, like, <laughs> that shit. Yeah, get out of here. But then we went <laughs> to then we went to Sound Pony and SP. it was all good. It I was love cool. the pony. I got accused of like lighting things on fire by some stranger though. But something happened. You got you got a little kiss. Of the you got a little slice of heaven tossed your way though. What you said? You got a little slice of heaven tossed your way. No. When you went to Tulsa. Slice of hell. Slice of hell. Inner circle. Ugh. Would yeah. never, would never. It was just a different experience. Oh, a like, different experience. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing like, nothing. <clears throat> so something like that could that. could have been negative, and you're like, you know what? It's an experience. It's fun. I did it. I liked that I went. You know, yeah. like, uh, will I ever go again? Fuck no. no. But no that's way. something to put in the put in your file cabinet of yeah. life of like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I've experienced that. I know that I don't like that, mm-hmm. so I'm never gonna go do that again. Yeah. Instead of being a hater that doesn't do it, I'm gonna download Vero, but because I don't want to hate without trying it. But that people that hate on shit, but they don't even know what the fuck it is. Yeah. Going back to, and that's probably why a lot of the, th- why we have the, uh, does fucking Black Panther is actually a shitty movie because blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. Dude, just, just stop. Yeah. Just maybe, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Or start a podcast, bitch about it and move on. Yeah. We'll exactly. forget all of this by next week. Oh, for sure. Because you know? at the end of the day, like, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. You didn't like the movie. Cool. Cool, dude. A lot of people did, and a lot of people like a lot of things that you don't like, and just fucking get over it. Get over yourself. Build a bridge and get over it. Yeah, dude. So speaking of the club, it got me to thinking. I saw I saw you put it on the list, and yeah. I got to thinking about it, and it got me to thinking about dating. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. So I'm, I'm, I'm not dating. Yeah. You know, I'm not dating. Mm-hmm. I have a girlfriend. Yeah. LTR, yeah. as the kids say. Mm-hmm. But I thought about dating yeah. when you were talking about the inner circle, because you mentioned it to me the other day. Yeah. And I was like, man, dating is so fucked up because you're lying. Let me explain. Let me explain. <clears throat> Going out, mm-hmm. meeting someone, that first initial meet, the yeah. first few dates, yeah. you're putting on your best self. Uh huh. Okay. AKA lying. Let's say you have a home. Uh huh. Let's say you invite a girl over. Right. Let's say you meet her at the inner circle. 
you know, you're dancing, you're having a good time, you're drinking drinks in the blue light. And then you exchange numbers. You're like, you don't hook up that night because that ain't the kind of guy you are. Right. You're respectful. Sure. Yeah. You know, you might grab a ass, you know, on yeah. the dance floor. Anything can happen. But you you let her go. You know, you let her go. Yeah. She comes back. It's meant to be. Yeah. So you, you text her a few days later and you're like, hey, you should come over. We, I'm going to cook, cook you some. Why is it always spaghetti with guys? Like, oh, I'll make you dinner. It's like spaghetti. And well, a, something I can make easy. I'll yeah. make cheap yeah. and quickly. And and I can, by I the can, way, I guys, that's what she's with expecting. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> make something better than spaghetti. Sp- spaghetti, <laughs> spaghetti in a $10 bottle of wine. Yes. Yeah, dude. No, a seven ninety nine, <laughs> like Merlot. Yeah. 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 One time I made somebody a steak. And that was it. No sides, nothing. Just Dude, steak. They used to say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yeah. Don't assume my hunger. All right. Like <laughs> it's the same, dude. Yeah, you cook dude. you cook for a lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She loves you for it, man. Yeah, dude. It's simple. It's mm-hmm. so simple. Mm-hmm. So you text her a few days later and you're like, come over. Hey, I got I, hey, I got Netflix. <laughs> I've got chili. You don't even have to say you have Netflix anymore. No, it's yeah. it's assumed, right? Yeah, definitely. That's that's a peepaw. I feel like I got a, Netflix. <laughs> I feel like if a girl goes to a guy's house and she's like, "Do you want to watch Netflix?" and he's like, oh, "I don't have Netflix." Ooh. She's out the door, yeah, dude. Yeah. She he, got Netflix at home. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's like, "I got Crackle." She's fucking oh, gone. Yeah, God. dude, yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah, nobody watches Crackle. I don't even know what that is. So what do you do uh-huh. before she shows up at you your clean house? Clean the fuck out of your house. Right. You clean. Yes. Yeah. And and you even do a little set dressing. Yeah. You might try to make it cooler than it is. Yep. Mm-hmm. What else do you do? You trim your pubes. Oh, you yeah. trim your face. Mm-hmm. You I, yeah. You take I'll, a shower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you get in there. You just you put on your best self. Yeah. So your house is great. You have a dog. You might give your dog a bath cuz who wants to fuck a guy with a stinky dog? Right. You do <laughs> all this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You cook. When's the last time you cooked for yourself? We cooked the other day. Well, I, I'm just saying. No, I know. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Just making nachos. Does that count? <laughs> like white trash <laughs> nachos. Did you do it in the microwave or in no, the no, oven? No, in the oven. These were like blue corn chips. This is like Tillamook, oh, like dude, cheddar cheese. That, yeah. it, was, it was good, but it was still just throwing chips on a plate and cheese on it, calling it a day. That ain't yeah. mom's spaghetti. That ain't mom's that, spaghetti. That you, you got to make the spaghetti. Your, your I know. Your knees aren't weak and your arms aren't heavy. That's so. very true. So she comes over. Mm-hmm. And what do you do? You, make, you, you might light a candle. You might turn on some music. Oh, well, first you go buy a candle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so whether it's the, the, you know, whether it's meeting someone at the inner circle or mm-hmm. inviting them to your house for the very first, like dating for yeah. some people, and not, not everyone. Yeah. But is a total lie. Mm-hmm. It's totally weird. Mm-hmm. And you wonder why relationships fail. Yeah. If you're not yourself from the get go, mm-hmm. once you become yourself, once you, once you really <laughs> let the crack show. Yeah. yeah. They're gone. Yeah. yeah. Or or they do it and you're gone. Yeah. Or you both do it. Have you, you seen know? the new Chris Rock special? No. It's fucking brilliant. He's got a bit about that. And he says, you know, when relationships end, the problem when it ended was always a problem. You were just fucking through the most of it. Because in the beginning of a relationship, you're just, just fucking, fucking, fucking. And then when you stop fucking, everything that bothered you about that person, shining bright like a beacon. I agree. So just keep fucking. But this kind of goes back to that. Like at the early stages of relationship is it's it's purely physical. You're whether we want to admit it or not, you are physically attracted to someone at first. That's the first thing you fucking notice. It's the first thing you know about a person. If you don't look. say that, you're a goddamn liar. You're on the list. <laughs> Do yeah. you ever go, man, I just saw a slice of personality. You can. No. Dude, <laughs> dude, 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 Dylan, Dylan, check out this girl right here. Dude, her sense of humor. Dude, she's yeah. dude, look, funny. Look at the way she's laughing at her friend, dude. She <laughs> must be awesome. She likes humor. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah of course. That's your. That's yeah. why you approach someone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The first time you see... What do you do? You see them. You yeah. don't walk around. You don't <laughs> Stevie yeah. Wonder around the room. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah. A, a little edit. If you're blind, fine. <laughs> yeah. You definitely... Sure. Their personality is what... <laughs> It's not even that. Give it, give them that. Then, then it's their voice. Because if you're blind, and I'm not blind, and correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, email if, us. If, can you <laughs> blindly email us? I, I know. I was going to say that. And I was like, that's fucked up. But like, you can like voice email, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you're blind, you're not going to date someone with a gross voice, right? <laughs> Just like, I don't like your voice. Like, no, dude, I bet that's what it is. Dude, if you're blind, <laughs> call me. <laughs> call me up and let's talk because mm-hmm. i got it and i'm not blind shaming mm-hmm. no 
fucking comedy but I, but podcast. But I bet, no, I bet. I, okay, Christ. say say you're blind. <laughs> Why did you say that? Then? I saw the way you didn't look at me. I looked right at you. What if you were blind? Then I would probably. No, I'm kidding. I'm a blind man on a date, if he, if the other, if the, whether they like dudes or ladies, or whatever, and if your voice is like, <clears throat> <laughs> like nope. No. I'm done. I'm not. I can't fuck you. But how's, dude, it, how's it going? Oh, you, no. Hey. Yeah, okay. Okay. Man or woman with that voice? Nope. Oh, no. for sure. Anyone with, hey, how you or, doing? Or just like, wait, or dude. Or, or, or girl. Or, 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 or yeah. a still really timid voice. And you can't. That if could you, be hot. If, I, don't I don't know. I don't if like timid like voices. you sound like you're on the brink of tears the whole time, <laughs> just cry, dude. So I can leave. Like, nah. <laughs> but dude, blind dudes? Yeah. Okay, I know it's. Uh, I don't know. This is a weird thing. That no, we're it's on fine. Right now, we segued from. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Blind dudes, and I'm. I'm just saying dudes because I'm a dude. Mm -hmm. But blind dudes, I know that sucks to be. I don't know. I. I think it would suck to be blind. Uh -huh. To be born blind. Yes, but but, oh, you, but you don't know the difference. Yeah, I would think born blind. I it would suck it. to be 37 and right go now blind. and go blind. Oh like, yeah, dude. I've never. Sorry, not to be sexist. I've never seen a tit. I'll never yeah. see a oh, tit again. But they feel so much better. That's very true. That's, that's they what I was feel say. better than they. You can make a mental picture. Yeah. You've seen it. You know what they actually look like. Dude, they taste better. They smell better. They feel better. It's like Daredevil. Like I'm sure there's a porn parody of Daredevil where he loses all of his senses, or he loses his sense of sight, but everything else is heightened. Yeah, his his ropes. <laughs> but the thing about being blind is like, it opens up a huge window of opportunity. Because guess what? You don't know what they look like. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I know. I know. Uh, you know, the, you could lie to yourself and pretend. Yeah, you could pretend that this is just a ten. Yeah, it's so weird because it's not a, it's not breaking news. But I, I like good-looking women. Yeah, weird, weird. I know. Right. But if I was blind, what if what if she was the perfect eight yeah. for you? You know, like. Mm -hmm. Man, like I don't know. It's it's weird to think about. I, I, I'm, I came into it as a joke, but now I'm getting a little philosophical well, over here. I, here's the thing: I don't know any trasher dudes who have attractive girlfriends. It's I like I don't any trasher dudes who are blind. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Do I'm, you know any blind people? No, not a single one. But the thing is, it's like I don't know, man. Is that elitist of us? Is that is a, no? It's no, real. They can fight around blind. <laughs> That's true. They really can. They know kung fu. No, yeah. it's it's reality. That's true. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. the numbers. There are blind people there. I doubt there's a blind person that listens to. Boys. Oh, I would love to have a blind friend. That's so. Does that sound mm. shitty? Yes. No, 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 like, no, no. If I had, a, if, if I met a guy who was blind and he was cool, all right, hug fan. <laughs> why not? I. Why? Just to have to. to so you want. Hold another, on. You want one of your friends to be blind yeah. so you can have a blind friend. <laughs> you want a token <laughs> blind guy. I, okay. I would like to get to know a blind person. Okay. To understand what's, what that's like. But also, yeah. like, hang out. Okay. Say, say your blind friend is Steve and you're like doing a group chat. Steve can't no, read the text. No, no, no. 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 Well, no. Steve can't read the text. So you call Steve, like, hey, Steve, we're all going to go meet up at the, the inner circle. We're going to go dancing. Uh -huh. Do you go, and then Dylan said, see you at 7 30. And then Robbie said, <laughs> thumbs up emoji. I, I know you don't know what that means, <laughs> but, but it's. Well, no! I'll, I'll explain to you what an emoji is. And yeah, all that. And then you go hang out <clears throat> with Steve, your blind friend. It's You're fine. backtracking hard, bro. I don't think what I said was shit in any way. <laughs> I would like to be friends with a blind person. I think that would be fun. I just that sounded that sick. Okay, that, okay. That, okay. So, that, yeah, I get that part. I, I am <laughs> I get, not, Josh. I'm not. I don't want to dog you at all. All right, I love you, buddy. But you gotta work on phrasing <laughs> sometimes because, like, yeah. if you, if you, dude, like, if I said, if I said, <laughs> you know what. I'd really like to be friends with a black person. Yeah, that's what I... Is that what you were going to say? <laughs> yeah. I don't... Why? Oh, first see, of all, that, first see, that's of all. racist. Uh -uh. That is racist. I'm not being racist. I'm saying I don't have any friends who are blind. But why that, do I have blind but friends? But that's not what you said. <laughs> <laughs> what you said is... I want a blind friend. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't think I said it as needy as that. I'm not. I'm not the dudes from Get Out who are like, I'm gonna put my brain in a black person. I don't want to give a shit about that. I, just, Dude, I does that happen in that movie? I have haven't you not seen, seen Get Out. Oh no. shit! 
a spoiler alert. Seriously, that was the ultimate spoiler. It's okay. It's First totally of all, fine. you hate blind people. You spoil movies. <laughs> I spoil a movie that's been out for a year and a half. It won a fucking award. Get the fuck out of my life. You haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, Put your sure. list. <laughs> you're, you're you're totally right. I mean, I got Sixth Sense ruined for me six years after it came out, so it's fine. I see blind people. <clears throat> I don't see blind, I don't people. See blind people. <laughs> okay, so anywho, we should move on from blind people. I'm no sorry, to blind I know, people. dude. It's funny. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not blind shaming. When I was younger, I went on a date hey, with know. a deaf girl, and really? it was fucking awesome. She yeah. hated me. It was one date, one <laughs> date only. She she couldn't even hear me, and right. she fucking hated me. <laughs> and I thought, you know, I'm a pretty animated guy. This is gonna go great. How did how do you know you she hated you? She, she could read lips. She was she was deaf, but she could read lips. That's tight. And 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 expressions. Yeah. You know, she wasn't blind. So we we go out on a date. Her name. She came into she came into my store when I was working retail. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Sweet. We went on a date that I I I kind of like met her in the store and I I gave her my number. And I said text me sometime, and she did, and. We went on a date, and it was, I thought it went great. Right. Never mm. heard from her again. Her Damn. name was Angel. Mm, that's a shitty name, though. It's kind of dope. If I know you're name shaming, come on, dude. It yeah. was kind of dope. No, all name shame. And that's not name shaming. That's just saying that your parents named you something bad. Your parents did a shitty job. That's not your fault. So her name was Angel. Mm hmm So, so, okay, so set up this date for me. I want to hear about, I want to hear about the date. Well, and she, then I want to hear about the next text you sent her that she never responded she, to. <laughs> well, she came to my house. Okay. I made her some spaghetti. Wow. And uh, we watched Netflix. Okay. Had the captions on. Right. No. I, I was way, it was a long time ago. This is pre-Netflix. But I don't know, dude. We just went to eat dinner. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it might have been before I was even 21. I might have been like 20 or so. Maybe I was 21. But we just went out and like. She pointed at the menu and then like yeah. I paid and we it was I thought it was nice. So I it was I, it, was, it was fucking weird. My and, question is how right, do you have a that, conversation at dinner? I, again, I am going deaf, so this is gonna be my future in the next probably twenty years. Yeah. Do you write thing? Did you write things out or I mean she said she no, read lips. She could read lips, but and how then, does she communicate with you? Since you obviously probably don't understand sign language. I'm not saying you she don't. Used, Maybe you do. She used like a basic sign language. Like I can read. I can do the ABCs in sign language. Mm -hmm. And so she would just like say something every now and then. Or she would make a gesture. And it was actually really easy. Like mm -hmm. I was. I saw her. So I I saw her in the store. And I was like, oh my gosh, this beautiful girl came in the store. And I went up to her and I helped her. And then that was when I realized she was deaf. Mm -hmm. And but but she was like, oh, it's OK. I can read lips. She you know, she was like, point to her lips. She's mm -hmm. like, I can read lips. It's OK. And she could she could mouth words, too. Yeah. So she must have went deaf because she probably knew how to speak at some point. Right. So mm -hmm. she could mouth words. And I can you know, anybody can kind of read lips in the right situation. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, I don't know. It was it wasn't that weird. But mm -hmm. and I don't even remember what I texted her, but it was something I, I know exactly what I texted her. <laughs> you up. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was just some some nice boy thing about yeah. like, hey, had a great time. Hey, I had a really good time last night. Nothing. Ghosted. Dude. Totally ghosted. You know, being deaf is it's <clears throat> that's gotta be the worst one to lose. No, 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 way. no, 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 no. Right, because let's, you let's lose two. You lose yeah. your sense of hearing and, and you, you can no longer speak properly. I'd much rather be able to see. Much rather be you able think? to see. Dude, you'll yes. never hear yeah. music again. I don't give a fuck. I can't see anything, not just music and people talking. It's anything. Think think about it. Being in the darkness? <laughs> Close your eyes. I live in the darkness. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Forever? You want that and you want to hear my <laughs> voice forever? I mean, I, you get used to it. What? You can start seeing things, you know? You no, you don't see shit, Josh. You <laughs> run in, you, you, you don't stand up brain, a wall. You think, you don't think blind people fucking dream? Oh, they probably have the dopest fucking no, dream. Don't try to turn, hey, don't on, try to turn no, this around on, on me, motherfucker. Hey, no, 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 no. If you're blind and you dream, please send me an 
a detailed email. Of course, blind people dream. You don't use your eyes to dream. Your eyes are closed. Right, but you use your brain. Your brain projects they're, that. They're not retarded. Have you ever had a daydream where you could just like, you don't sleep, but you just close your eyes and you can see things in front of you? Don't, that, that doesn't mean they can drive. I'm not saying they can drive. Or go out by themselves. I'm not saying you can drive. Oh, you're trying no, to flip what, it. What, I'm adding you to the fucking list, buddy. <laughs> what better excuse uh -huh. to get fucking rides everywhere? <laughs> Like an Uber or Lyft, like you no, cheap I, son. I of Uber bitch. everywhere because I'm fucking blind. I can't drive anywhere. So I've, when you get out of the Uber, what do you do? I fucking use my cane and I walk. Use the little stick and I walk. D You're just digging yourself deeper. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm digging myself deeper. I'm saying. I know. I know. I'm the third hey, on this, but you guys, people. you guys, let's move whatever, on. Man. Let's whatever. Whoa. Email us, not slam at boys podcast, but boys at boys podcast. Right. Would you rather be deaf or blind? I think I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a blind prediction here. 99% are going to say deaf. Are going to say deaf. Hmm. Cause dude, you can still drive when you're deaf. Mm -hmm. You can still watch movies when you're deaf. You have captions. You can still draw, paint, text, write everything. When you're blind, you never get to talk again, Robbie. Fine. Okay. At least I can get up and go leave the house. I can drive. The, okay. And this this isn't me being trying to be shitty, but if I couldn't talk anymore, man, my handwriting would be great. You know what I'm saying? You write a lot. That's true. And, and I would still be able to, like, if I could see, I could still create things. If That's I couldn't true. hear, I couldn't do 90% of the things that I love to do, you know? Make music, yeah. I mean, fucking Mozart did it, but... Yeah, but no one's that good anymore. Well, they call me Robbie Mozart. I really... I, I know we're joking around here, of course. <laughs> yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah, yeah. And any of these... I don't know if you call it an ailment or any of these disabilities, yeah. or whatever, would be fucking terrible. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I've actually... I've lost sleep about this, thinking about this yeah. conundrum. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you never... Yeah, you ever thought about that? Yeah, and it's, like, really lame. The only time I've ever thought about it would be, like, you know, like, when, I don't know, this is going to sound super cheesy. When you're, like, with someone you really care about, and you're like, man, I couldn't imagine not ever being able to hear that person's voice anymore or see that person again or be able to have communicate, like, to be able to talk to the person I care about ever again. You know, like, any of those three would suck. Like, mm -hmm. it's a bummer. I mean, they still, I mean... They still get in relationships, obviously, and still, like, love people and all this. But, I mean, like, now that I've, you know, if I just lost my eyesight one day. I'd I just, like, I think, fuck. I think about the person I love the most yeah. in life. And I'm like, would I rather see her yeah. ever again? Yeah. Or hear her ever again? Mm -hmm. And, of course, I'd rather see her. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's so much to drink up. Yeah. Like I didn't go, hey, let me hear your tit, lady, across at the Apple store. Hey, let me hear that tit. So you I wanna see the tit. <laughs> like it's it's easy for me. And it, yeah. we're all different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're all different. Mm -hmm. I just rather stick with what I got. You know? It's a bummer. So. Typical cis white male. <laughs> Whoa. Slam. That's what we yeah. all are. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Definitely. We should all have slam buttons. Dude, no, that would get that so should, fucking that annoying. Should, <laughs> piss me yeah. off though. Because it's like, dude, I can't I couldn't I can't pick to be gay. I'm like, you know. True. I'm kinda stuck straight. Stuck <laughs> straight. It's the name of my next album. See, I don't stuck <laughs> your, straight, your straight, first dude. album. Yeah. Boo like, Banks. No, no, it's like it's it's like <laughs> I wanna be gay. Yeah. I'm stuck straight. No, no, that's the first track. Yeah. I wanna be gay album. Stuck straight <laughs> yeah. by Boo Banks, and by I picture the cover. It's like synth, like electro pop, and you're in like really like tight leather pants, yeah. looking over your shoulder <laughs> with like a mullet. Yeah, and, and it's my, like my, super eighties looking. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <sighs> oh, At me. At you. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so I just feel like I came off a high with that. Yeah, I, lo I love I love disagreeing with you guys. I love it. Well, I feel like you well, guys you... are just disagreeing with me. Like, <laughs> well, Dylan didn't take a side. A yeah, he no, didn't take a side. You guys, a... you guys got into it. So, I don't know, man. Hey, I still love you. You can, you, you can, you can be whatever you want, dude. It's not. I, I am what I am. Be, and that's all that be I am. Your best self, <laughs> everyone. 
Can I put that on the list? Be your best self? No, 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 no. Well, be your best self. Li- this living your best life thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the only one you got, dude. YOLO. Yeah, but I make fun of it because it's like, <laughs> I'll make for like, um, and it's usually in that context. It's yeah. like, uh, I'll take a picture of my shitty nachos that I made and mm-hmm. then like a, you know, a shitty beer that was left over in a fridge. I'll take a picture of it, send it to my wife and then she'll go. Live, living your best life, haha. Because we make fun of that thing because it's like ridiculous. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's the best life. That's the best my life is right now. Right. I'm eating nachos and drinking beer because that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, totally. It doesn't matter the quality of the oh, ingredients. I'm not yeah. going to Maui. I'm not going to fucking Botswana. I can't afford to do those things. And do you really want to? Fuck no, no. <laughs> dude. Let's let's just say right now, traveling fucking sucks. Your vacation is never really a vacation. You have to stress out about getting your plane ticket, getting all that shit together. If you have kids, it's even fucking more of a fiasco. You have to deal with the airport, getting in a plane with people and all that shit. And then by the time you get to your destination, you're stressed. What's the first thing you do when you get... I'm just going to chill in the hotel for a little bit. Oh, yeah. No, it's... I'm going to go back to the hotel and, like, decompress for a minute. And then you take a nap. And then before you know it, it's like, well, I guess we should go eat dinner. And you eat dinner, you try to do something your first night. It's just, it's, it's like the last day before you fly out. You're like, oh yeah, I'm starting to feel the vacation vibe. Oh great, I gotta be at the airport at 6 a.m. Fuck this. I'm literally leaving now. Fuck vacation. <laughs> fuck. Just fuck vacation. No, dude, vaca- I, I, I totally, I totally get where you're coming from. I but mean, I'm, I'm going on them, but I, 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 yeah. Yeah, you have to, you kind of have to like prepare yourself for, for going out of town, whether it's a weekend getaway or a, or a two week long vacation, two week long, Jesus, one, one long, one long week long vacation. Like I'm about to go on a vacation. Yeah. April, oh, baby. You, you're going to, uh, dude, same trace 11s. <laughs> I'm going, oh, cannot wait, dude. I think I'm going on vacation right when you get back. Dope. We'll swap tail. We'll meet each other in the road. You know, yeah. you have to put yourself in that vacation mode. And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this as, as in I know how to do this, but right. I'm trying to come to terms with this for, for this upcoming getaway. No, I'm saying like, <clears throat> as a married man with no kids, it takes that stress level of vacation down way just to like maybe ten percent. Yeah, where it's just the dealing of like just going to an airport fucking sucks. You know having kids that just adds a whole thing to it so yeah yeah, it's yeah do you do you you put yourself in that vacation mode though like have you tried oh because i don't i don't do it i'm gonna try it this time but i want to try it. yeah what you know it's it's you get joyous when you because you're probably like me you you book your air travel way in advance so you get get that good deal cheap ass rob and josh get get that good deal months so but months in advance. But you ride that high of like, I got a good deal. I got a good deal on this flight. And it's a good flight. There's it's nonstop. Oh yeah. No layovers. It's gonna be really good. Yeah. So you ride that high and then that kind of dies out. And because you then you forget that you're even going somewhere until it starts getting closer to the day, like, oh yeah, we're going to Colorado. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. And then it does the you're still excited. I'm I'm still if I have an early flight out, like say it's in a six AM flight or whatever, I'm still kid on Christmas Eve. I do that, like, pack my bag quickly at the midnight or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, just so excited to go on vacation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then you get to the airport. And you go, oh, yeah. Because one guy tried to make a bomb out of a shoe. Now I got to take <laughs> my shoes, my all my shit off? No, everything. <laughs> everything. You basically have to get into, your, like, your sleeping clothes. Because yeah. one dude. Yeah. One fucking dude who didn't even accomplish his task. We have to do all this shit now? Go fuck yourself. Hey, go shoot up a school. You know, go what? kill, go kill children is what I'm trying to say. Um, One guy with the shoe bomb changed the face of the travel agency. Yeah. Uh-huh. How many school shootings and nothing oh, has been done with guns? Okay, mm-hmm. see, big, when you big said gun, that, I was guns. like, that took is a turn. Is this the blind thing again? I don't know where to go. Well, from they, here. they wouldn't be good at shooting. Oh, blind people aren't shooting no. at school. <laughs> what I'm saying is. Yeah, I I fly every now and then for work these yeah. days. Yeah. Fuck that. Sh- fuck having your feet in your socks on tile in an airport. That's gross. Do you know how dirty that floor yeah. is? All those feet yeah. all day when you go into the um <laughs> this, quantum this leap. Machine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you go into the Star Trek. Yeah. You know how dirty that floor is? 
Gross. How many people's stank ass bunion toes are yeah. touching what your toe is touching? Fucking gross. Through a, a worn out sock? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Disgusting. Do something about the fucking big guns. I like guns. Mm-hmm. Not to get too political. I like yeah. guns, but there's no reason I need the G.I. Joe gun. No. I, I, re- I have a revolver. I have a, I sure. have a rifle. I have a shotgun. Don't don't need the no, don't no. need the the huge. No one needs. Ha- an I don't AK. need a halo gun. That, that's the no thing. No one needs like, an AK. Like, then that's the thing with the, the gun lobby of shit is uh, not to get on that tangent. But we, I'm totally to have a handgun, have a shotgun, have home protection. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. No one needs an assault rifle. It's in the fucking name. Assault yeah. rifle. You don't need that shit. Thirty big bullets. Also, thirty big bullets. All I'm asking. Um, you take a fucking test. You pass a fucking test that says you're not crazy. You pass a vision test. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. you, you agree? You both agreed with that, but you don't. I would. It was a blind There's joke. There's gotta <laughs> be a gun for blind people, right? No. <laughs> like a braille. No. no. <laughs> like a braille safety. You're getting back. <laughs> that reminds me of that stupid Gallagher joke. That's like, why do they got braille on ATMs? <laughs> why do they? Because blind people bang too, you fucking asshole. They also, exactly. they also I don't walk. know why the fuck they walk. <laughs> like that guy sucks though. Yeah, well, as a person, he sucks. I thought he was fucking hilarious I when I was a him. kid. I watched that. I wore out our Gallagher VHS tape, dude. I swear, I was God. stuck in the sixties. <laughs> That's yeah. the best, best with the giant couch. Oh, love him. No, this one was like he had brown hair. He was like he was a young yeah. Little, young he had blood. the little hat and he had the. A stretched out baseball shirt. Yeah, he looked like boat net. He looked like Super Mario. He was on roller skates. No. Oh, then you weren't watching the good one. <laughs> yeah, this one he had a hat. He had a fucking towards the end of the skit. He had a <laughs> st- fucking crazy ass Willy Wonka hat that you had sure an wasn't alarm sketch? clock in it. Were you about to say a stovepipe? Like a top. It was like a top hat. Okay. It was like a big top hat with like a alarm cl- or like a one of those. Cuckoo clock. Cuckoo clocks yeah. in it. Yeah, it was classic bonkers. Gallagher. Real familiar with Gallagher's work. It's all on Hulu, by the way. Well, all um, of his specials are on Hulu. Are you fucking his entire catalog? Right now? Yes, and on that note, we gotta go. We'll we see do? you next week. Yeah, fuck. Oh, did you need to finish your story about Gallagher? No, I'm just gonna go watch Gallagher now. <laughs> that that, w- that could have been one of two ways perceived. It was like, we do? Fuck you? Or it was like, we do. <laughs> I have to go watch Gallagher now. Yeah. Yeah. Any closing thoughts, Josh? We gotta go. No. What What's the last thing you want to say about blind people? <laughs> you know, man. Besides I just, that, you hate them. <laughs> I love blind people. <laughs> I love all people. That's the kind of want to say. I love all people, unless you're a fucking asshole. Yeah. And that's that's really that's the gist of it. That that's that's everything. Hashtag all people matter. Presidents, <laughs> unless unless you're an asshole. All people matter. Unless you're an asshole. No. The, the thing is, is we joke around with, with mm-hmm. each other, mm-hmm. with topics. Yeah. I love everybody that's not shitty. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just have these thoughts. I have literally thought about blind versus deaf. Yeah. Yeah. I've literally thought about all these things. Oh, is it one of those like the, la- like the last thing you think about right before you go to bed? But it, you don't, it, you know, oh, it's going to go to sleep. Hey, what if you're blind? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, brain. The thanks, cuckoo thanks, clock brain. in my forehead yeah. just came out. I was like, "Yeah, yeah. that was well, a really like, good cuckoo." You, 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 damn. You roll over and, and kiss Slam. your kiss your little lady. Good night. And then, what would it be like if you never saw her face again? What? That's why would I have that thought? Terrible. Yeah. It's so Terrible. weird. Yeah. I have some funny thoughts. Well, I don't know if they're funny, but I have some thoughts about this bedtime. This last thing you think about, mm-hmm. but we're gonna save it for next week. Oh, can I? Bedtime got brought up. Can I say one thing? Yeah, uh, you got new undies. I'm wearing me undies right now. Oh damn! Yeah, me undies. Hook us up. <laughs> I bought myself some new undies, some micromodal undies. Uh, I bought them on Amazon. Uh, they were trunks, which in the picture looked like boxer briefs. Mm-hmm. Turns out they ride right up the old ass crack. Uh, nice. But they have the cock pouch in the front. I love, right. I nice. love the modern Just let your cock shit pouch. Dangle. Yeah. yeah. I love it. it. It's so great. So I got them. Uh, and it's, it's exactly what Garth Algar says about his new underwear. At first, they're constrictive. And they are. It's awkward. Mm-hmm. Then they become a part of you. And you don't. That's the whole micromodal thing. You don't feel it. No. You do. The first two days, you're like, yeah, that shit is right there. 
But on your third day of these underwear, the third consecutive day. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying like the, th- the third I time. Know. Third you, wearing. Third yeah. wearing. Yeah, yeah of like, course. I got it. It feels so good. This is my second. It. This is my second wearing. Uh, wash in between. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But dude, so good. Guys, if you made it this far, a little bonus knowledge for you. Invest in decent. I'm not talking premium. This is the one thing that I don't do premium. Yeah. Get you some decent underwear. Got mine on Amazon. They're David Archie's, I think. I got a four pack for $15 Amazon Prime. Nice. They came in a box and each pair of underwear were individually boxed. Wow. Damn. And their own little, yeah, like fancy. And on the box, it had the original like retail like skew on it. These $86 undies. Wow. For $15? $15. Dude. They, they were doing like a clear out of this color, color way. Right. They're, they're called Windsor Wine. So they're purple. Fuck yes. Yeah, dude. Dope. Nice. My favorite color of underwear. Dope. Maroon, purple, some. black. Yeah. In that order. My thing about underwear, going to start wearing less of them. You going to go commando? Yeah, so I'll see you guys in Have you week. done that before? <laughs> <laughs> Have I done it before? Uh, I haven't. I did it once when I was younger, and I never did it again because the day I didn't wear underwear, I ripped the ass of my pants out. <laughs> And so your little biscuit was popped. It uh-huh. was just hanging out. Were the you back. in public? Uh, I was hanging out with uh, a girl that I thought was really cute. Yeah, she's and... blind. She couldn't see it anyway. <sighs> um, I was hanging out with like my best friend, his girlfriend, and her sister, who I later dated, but she totally saw my butt. How big was the blowout? Um, imagine assless chaps. Wow. Oh, wow! So it was like it was like waistband to tank. It was Just like a, dude, it was like a, like the coipers that smiles yes, at you. Yes, yes, yeah. the coipers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that that's a great thing to end the episode that's on. Funny. See you guys next week. Bye. I'm so sorry, Josh. I know I offended you so much this episode, but I stepped on your bye. He did. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bye.